All right, another wet weekend, unfortunately, in store across the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Here's where we're going with this pattern. Another big dip in the jet stream. In fact, doesn't look that different from where we are right now. But this is what's going to happen this weekend. Big trough along the eastern seaboard. We're going to get a storm to develop where? Off the North Carolina coast. Then what happens? That storm heads toward the northeast. Now, let me show you how we're going to get there. I do want to begin where in the Pacific, where we have this storm south of the Aleutians here. Let me go back to that a second. I got a little uh, ahead of myself. It's this storm right here south of the Aleutian Islands. Now, this is the beginning of the uh, storm along the East Coast. Here's why. Think of the atmosphere as this, and you can even see it. Look at this big dip in the jet stream in the Pacific. Think of the atmosphere as a string, right? It's called teleconnections. Weather in one part of the country or world can affect another. But you get a big dip in the jet stream and you let it and you, you bring it down or you pull the string down and you get a ripple effect, right? That occurs with that uh, jet stream dip. So what happens is as we get that jet to dip in the Pacific, you end up forcing the jet stream north across Western Canada where you have an area of high pressure. Because the jet stream is forced north here, it has to come south across the central part of the uh, country and that begins the process for the weekend storm. Let me show you where we're going with this. Watch this storm. Here's our initial storm. This comes across the Midwest over the next 24 hours. By Wednesday, it'll be across the upper Midwest. Now, it has a look to it to me like this is going to lift to the Northeast, and it will. But you notice what's going on here across Alberta and British Columbia. You have diff additional energy here denoted by the yellow and the orange, and you have a lot of it, right? So what will end up happening is this energy will just carve this trough in the eastern United States by Friday. So here you go. Now with this, there's already going to be some showers across the Midwest, even some showers and maybe a thunderstorm across the southeast with this on Friday. Then this front heads east, gets to the coast, and that's when you're going to get the secondary storm to develop along that boundary Friday night. Now initially, that storm moves to the northeast and it'll be relatively weak. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of huge impacts with this in the mid-Atlantic states. That includes Philadelphia as well, although there is going to be some rain on Friday. But then Saturday night in the Sunday morning, this storm intensifies, slows, and actually begins to back up to the west northwest. So with that, I think there's going to be a soaking rain with this storm. It is New England that will bear the brunt of this storm this weekend. Last weekend, it was a little farther south, New York City on south, or at least in the southeast of New England. This weekend, I think it's most of New England. New York City, you're going to get your rain Friday and Saturday. I think there will be some rain in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., or at least some showers Friday and the Saturday. By Sunday, it dries out and it'll be windy. But again, it's New England that will bear the brunt of this storm. Thank you.